Today's question comes from Andrea. When I first started intermittent fasting, I gave up my coffee creamer. At first, it was fine, but I really miss it. I use sugar-free French vanilla. I heard you say you still use your creamer. I did good until a couple of days ago. Then I started using it again. Do you think that the sugar-free is okay? I have to have it. It's so satisfying and keeps me from craving other stuff. And once I have my coffee, I can do the fasting with no problem. Well, Andrea, I think this is a great question because so many people, you know, have questions about coffee. And um, I, I just want to share with you my experience. I kept creamer in my coffee. And now I use half and half, but I've, I've kept it in my coffee the entire time I've practiced intermittent fasting. Now, I know some people get upset with me because I have, you know, half and half in my coffee and they say it's not true fasting or, or whatever. But ultimately for me, my goals with intermittent fasting are to lose weight and to keep it off. And because of that, because those were my goals, I was always just concerned with what are my results? Like, uh, you know, I don't really care what the rules are of intermittent fasting. I was more concerned with, am I losing the weight that I'm wanting to lose? Now, I, and I will go even a step further and say, in the beginning, I had sugar and half and half in my coffee. I cut out the sugar because uh, I wanted to be able to have other unsweetened drinks uh, in my fasting window. And I knew that if I trained myself to like unsweetened coffee, I'd probably enjoy things like LaCroix, those unsweetened uh, flavored sodas and things like that. And I think as long as your results are doing what you want them to do, I don't know if you're currently still trying to lose the weight or if you're kind of in a maintenance phase, but as long as your, your weight is doing what you want it to, I say keep the creamer. I love coffee. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy having it in my day. I enjoy having it with my husband. And, um, and I want to have it the way I like it. I've, I've tried black coffee and I detest the stuff. <laughs> and so it, it is like, it's, it's a, it's a joyful thing in my life. And I think having those joyful things in your life is really important. And you even said in, in your question, you know, this is something that makes fasting really easy for you as long as you have that creamer. So, you know, again, as long as your results are, are good with the having the creamer in there, I see no reason at all why you should take the creamer out. And for what it's worth, I did a survey on the YouTube community tab a while back uh, to see, you know, how people's results are uh, when they've used artificial sweeteners because, you know, it's not something that I use, uh, but other people have. And lots of people are having perfectly fine results, even when they allow themselves artificial sweeteners in the fasting window. So thank you for the question, Andrea, and I hope that helps. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're currently trying to lose weight and you're just having a hard time, check out my Slow and Steady Success Academy. There you'll find a course called Intermittent Fasting for Weight Loss 101, where I take you through the entire process from start to finish and how to implement intermittent fasting successfully in your life for weight loss. The link is in the description. The all access pass to Slow and Steady Success Academy is a monthly subscription plan that gets you access to every course that is currently available in this academy as well as any that will become available in the future. Also, you'll get access to our private all access pass members only Facebook group.